Ravi, before their houses were torched by Hamas on October 7th, hundreds of Israeli women were murdered twice, according to a United Nations presentation today. This startling turn of a phrase refers to Israeli women who were raped and left for dead, then killed with rounds of gunfire, according to the Israelis, by Hamas commandos who used sexual assault as a weapon of war. On October 7th, Hamas committed crimes against humanity. They raped, murdered, and violated Israeli women. This new video played today at a special UN meeting in New York. In the kibbutz here and elsewhere during this Hamas sneak attack on Israel almost two months ago, more than 300 Israeli women were killed and many of them said to be sexually tortured. Some of these women were murdered twice. The first time when bloodthirsty Hamas terrorists committed shocking acts of sexual violence against them. The second time these women were murdered was when terrorists put a bullet in them. Tonight, major women's rights groups in the U.S. and worldwide are being criticized for their silence. I never in a million years would have dreamed that the world would turn their back on survivors when the perpetrators so gleefully recorded their violence and shared it with the world. The I-team speaking with prominent Chicago food industry executive Julie Smolianski, who is reshaping her not-for-profit to support Israeli women who survived Hamas sexual attacks during the war. This was part of their orders, was to rape and torture as many people as they could. We've marched and supported every organization, every, every um, group. But suddenly when it comes to Jewish women, the world is silent. It would be like um, terrorists coming into Lollapalooza and kidnapping and raping our women and children because they didn't like our president. I mean, it's ludicrous, ludicrous. The I-Team has previously reported on Julie Smolianski's initial not-for-profit that managed to clear the huge backlog of unprocessed rape kits in Illinois and draw attention to the 400,000 criminal rape kits sitting untested on shelves around the nation. As for the war between Hamas and Israel, Hamas officials have denied its soldiers carried out sexual violence during the attacks on October the 7th. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.